is Kelly Abbey for, for Dance Life talking about fame. So thinking about the young dancers that are going to come and watch, what yeah. would you say are the key messages that this musical really gets across to them? Um, I think, you know, I, I say to the cast, this, your, your purpose in this show is to make some kid in the audience want to pursue right. singing, dancing and acting. Mm. I mean, that's what the kind of show is about. And, you know, it's about kids going through that coming of age, that rites of passage where they are transforming and discovering themselves and transporting themselves by the performing arts. And, you know, essentially that's what, you know, fame is about. And it's about also the realities of it, you know, following your dream. And, but also about the cost of fame and the sacrifice and mm. um, you know, the, the pitfalls of fame as well. So it paints a very true picture. Mm. In, um, in the Sydney magazine you were quoted as saying it's one of the few shows that is a story about our world. Can you elaborate yeah. on, on what that means? Well, there's, not, there's not many shows that are about the performing artist. You know, there's Chorus Line. Yeah. And there's, there's fame, you know. There's yeah. not there's not many shows that are about you know people in our world, singers, dancers, and actors. You know, mm. um, so that's why it's special, and that's why you know it's great for the our cast because you know they're drawing on something that's very real to them. You know, it's not it's not a they don't have to dig very deep. <laughs> yeah, right. So it sort of embraces everything that's that's about the industry. About the industry mm. and, and about about. Training, training in the arts, and about you know these courses. You know the Fame School in New York is a four-year course. The place set from 1980 to 1984. So yep. you know it's it's a it's that, and it's that thing that we you know we have now. But back when I was a kid, we never had yeah. performing arts schools where you could do your academics and um, and your performing arts in the same place. I mean we do now. I remember I was yeah. 17 when the movie came out. Mm. It was such a big eye-opening things I couldn't yeah. imagine going to a school where you could do that you know, in, the, in the one place. And do you think that movie coming out inspired you to pursue it this? absolutely did, absolutely yep. did. I think I saw it seven times at the cinema right. and I was making the decision on you know, what career to pursue and it did def definitely had a big, a big impact on me. And um, the fact that a lot of these kids are from So You Think You Can Dance, or young adults, yeah. um, are they Triple threats, they what you classify triple threats, they, they had to take that on. There's eight of them mm. on the show. And you know, it was a lot there was quite a lot of kids that auditioned from So You Think. Yeah. And not all of them got in, but these yeah. eight did and they were the ones that kind of stepped up to the plate and you know, that I you know, I had to cross my fingers that these great dancers could sing and could yeah. act and um, and these are the eight that really, you know, stepped up to the plate and um, and they're doing just fantastically mm. and you know, some of them have never acted before. So do you think that's sort of paramount these days if you want to move into musical theatre to have that triple threat? I think it's paramount no matter what you want to do. Mm. Mm. Um, I think the more that you can do, the more constantly employable you can be. So that's why I say to everyone, do everything. <laughs> yeah, because I think everything. sometimes dancers can get pigeonholed yeah, just they get doing a dance yeah, I thing. just want to be in music videos and I'm like, well, You'll work two weeks a year, yeah, so, so you know, open your mind, open your blinkers, and do absolutely everything because it's just the only it's the only way. And the better singer you become, the makes you a better dancer. They all cross over and they all make us complete. They all come from the same place. Mm. You know, singing, dancing, acting essentially all come from your your gut and your heart, and yeah. and they all involve a, a technique. And you know, once you can get all of those things within your grasp, I think, you know, I think you can do anything. And doing a show such as this where it's, what, eight shows a week or, yeah, yeah. yeah. How, how does one sort of uh, focus, I mean, do you recommend things like meditation or any things to balance, yeah, you know, your downtime? The cast actually do uh, what I call a, a light circle before the show. Every mm. show they stand in a circle and hold hands and do a focus oh, exercise right, right. and it's my way of having the cast unite before they walk on stage and right. um, yeah so there's a lot of focus and a lot of you know uh, discipline yeah. involved in doing it eight times a week which I think for some of the kids who've never stepped on a theatre stage before that yeah. this has been a whole new you know world, a new yeah. world yeah yeah fantastic all right so just lastly in terms of recommendations or advice to young dance life members mm -hmm. who are watching um, in a sort of mentoring sense, what would you say 
to do if they want to get into musicals? They want to get into musicals? Yeah. Um, I would say out of the three skills, work on your weakest one. Work yep. on the one that you probably don't like as much. Mm. <laughs> and um, spend a little less time on the thing that you're really good at. Um, mm. Get your skills a bit more even. And, um, and you know, essentially the role of a person in musical theatre, the role of a person on stage is to be a storyteller. So right. for me is to, you know, just get people to concentrate on being able to, to tell the truth yeah, <laughs> in their dancing, in their singing and their acting. Because mm. really what essentially you are as a musical theatre performer is you're, you're a storyteller. Yeah. You have a responsibility to transport the audience mm. somewhere else. And, you know, that's... One thing I think people don't concentrate on enough right. is sincerity and, and the truth of performance. Okay, yeah, interesting. Yeah. All right, great, Kelly. Uh, we'll wrap that up there. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank